Did it work? Scan output shows no errors. Neural connection is green. Yes, it worked. You're sure? From this point forward, if Jack's shell becomes damaged or destroyed, he will automatically reprint at the nearest working fabricator. Well, Jack? How do you feel? This should make removing those sticks much easier. Well, I'd imagine there's a lot that gets easier when you're basically invulnerable. Indeed. It's unfortunate that fabricators are incapable of replicating organic matter. Otherwise, Captain, we'd be able to scan you into the system as well. Right. Well, the important thing is, Jack's back to normal. We're all done here. Jack, I've reopened the access hatch. Make your way back through the maintenance duct. I'll be waiting for you by the entrance to the loading bay. On my way. Be careful. Restoring emergency power has awakened the biomass, so unless you're planning to test your new reboot ability, I would avoid all contact. Understood. Well done, making it through unharmed. It's clear you've had extensive experience with the biomass. More than enough, yes. Now then, this corridor will take us through the loading bay and back around to the rear entrance of the security room. After you, Jack. into the loading bay. Copy that. Keep me posted on comms, all right? Of course. I'll continue to scan the station's database for any additional schematics or equipment that might be of use. Sure, you do that. Good luck in there, Jack. is through this door. But if you try to open it now, the tick is sure to attack you. We should find a way to pacify it before we even attempt opening the door. What is this panel in the floor? An electrical bypass. It allows you to direct emergency power to various systems in the area. You can use your cutter to gain access. Juno, what is this crane used for? It utilizes a zero-point energy stasis field to carry and sort incoming cargo. At least when it's powered on. Its primary power source is currently offline. You can lift the lever to rewrap power. Ah, so the bypass powers the crane arm. That will certainly keep the tick occupied. Now we should be able to safely open the door. We're fortunate the store has an emergency release. Not all of them do. Is this crane mobile? I believe so. 
You should be able to use the overhead handles to push it along the rail, or use the turning wheel to rotate the arm. I assume I'll need to cut through this panel as well? Simply cutting through the bolts should suffice. No sense causing excess damage. Right. We wouldn't want to compromise the pristine condition of the station now, would we? Now just pull the release handle and the door will unlatch. That's it. You should be able to slide the door open. Advise holding the rail to anchor yourself as you move the crane. Watch yourself. There are two more ticks at the end of the corridor. Another tick. Take care moving forward. Copy that. Shields at 95%. How were we routed? It appears the transformer on the far wall is now live. Shields at 30%. What's in these containers? Dietary provisions, most likely. Salt, coffee, various synthetic grains. Whoa, whoa, wait. Back up. You found coffee? I wouldn't advise drinking this coffee, Captain. I'm sure it's past its expiry date. Well, how far past? Liv, the containers are infested with biomass. They're in fact... Oh, do you know? Maybe next time lead with that? There's another bypass in this area. Perhaps that might be of use. Another bypass. It probably powers something in this room. You can use your cutter to open it, just like the last one. takes in the next room. We'll need some way to distract them. Tick can sense me through the glass. Yes. As long as it can read your energy signature, the tick will continue to follow you. Hmm. Perhaps I can use that to my advantage. Indeed. Ticks may be deadly, but they're not exactly intelligent. Door power restored.
This crane arm is already online. The slider is unlocked. You should be able to move the crane just like before. That looks to be our best option for distracting those ticks. If you can find a way to lure them out. This is concerning. I didn't realize the infestation was so prevalent in this area of the facility. What exactly happened here? There was a biomass outbreak. I'll bet it's your attention to detail that sets you apart from all the other AIs. There's not much more I can tell you without violating my directives. Well, what about the crew? Are they really all gone? All 118 souls aboard the station have either perished or were evacuated. So then, what the hell are we doing here? After your unexpected arrival aboard the Astrea, I was directed to bring you somewhere safe. This is safe? Well, the habitat was safe at the time. Now the ship is our only option. Brilliant. I'm guessing there's no way to open this door. Unfortunately, no. The infestation is too severe. You will need to find another way around.
Vamos. This door is completely disconnected from the power grid. It will need an external power source. Like a battery. Precisely. How much farther, Juno? Nearly there. The security room is just on the other side of this depot. I assume we'll find more Tix ones. Technically, the correct term for a group of Tix is a murder. I suppose. I always found the term a little too on the nose. My former shell, were we on the Kronos too, we would eventually attempt recovery. That won't be necessary. We can simply continue to reprint as needed. Suits me fine. I'm just glad we have your reboot protocols back. Quite a sizable crane. It also has greater freedom of movement, capable of sliding in four directions rather than just two. The crane's power field might be enough to distract the text. Shields at 95%. Shields at 50%. Shields at 30%. Jack? Jack, are you alright? I'm here. The fabrication process and data transfer were both successful. Oh, thank God for that. If you look up, there is a second set of rails attached to the crane. Utilizing both rails should allow you to position the crane nearly anywhere in the room. I imagine navigating a gauntlet of tick-infested corridors would make anyone an expert. Actually, it would probably just kill them. Either way, well done. Juno, are you 
said earlier that you were directed to bring us here. That's correct. Or directed by who? I get it. You can't answer that. Let's just focus on getting you to safety. I suspect much will be made clear once we have you secure aboard the ship. Jack! You made it! Is everything all right? Well, I still have a mindless tentacle monster trying with all his might to eat my face. But he hasn't actually managed to do it yet, so all in all I'd say things are going pretty well. Listen, why don't I keep this little bugger occupied while you deal with the one on the door? Do you know, you can help him out there, right? I believe so. If you could lure the ticks into this disposal unit, you may be able to eject them into space. The disposal unit is unpowered. Is there an electrical bypass nearby? There should be one in this room. You can use this disposal unit to clear the room of ticks, but it's currently unpowered. Is there some way to open these shutters? The controls are inoperable. I can't just force them open? I suppose you could try, though the mechanism locking them in place is quite robust. It would require a considerable amount of force to break it. Disposal unit powered on. Now how do I eject the ticks? First, you'll have to get the tick into the disposal. Then you'll have to use the manual ejection switch. Tick to the side. Way to go, Jack. Just one more to go. The creature does seem to be quite fond of the captain. Perhaps we can use that to our advantage. Come over to the door. Whatever you need. Could you go back to the window? Sure thing, Jack. Liv, go to the door. Will do.
Could you move back? Yep, copy that. Backing right off. Lynn, come over to the door. Whatever you need. Away slowly. Just watch yourself. That's it. We're clear. Confirmed. Room secure. Nicely done. Now, Juno, if you would, please. Jack, I need you to repower the door so I can open it. <laughs> 